Hi, thanks for watching this video, and thanks for using OurChurch.com's WPEZ website builder. It's WordPress made easy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a MailChimp subscribe form to a page on your WPEZ website. Now, before you do this, you will need to sign up and create an account with MailChimp because you'll need some information from that account as we set up the subscribe form. So if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and do that first and then come back and watch the rest of this video. All right, we have our sample website here. And when doing email communication, we recommend having a subscribe form in at least two places of your website. The first is your home page because that's going to be the page people visit the most and see the most and it's going to give you the best chance of getting the most subscribers. The second place you'll want to have a subscribe form is on a news page because if people are interested in news, they're probably going to be interested in getting news directly from you via email rather than constantly coming back to your website. So this is where we are going to put the subscribe form in this example. As we get started, the first thing that you will need to do is log in to MyOCC, which is at the address myocc.ourchurch.com. And then once you're logged in, you can click to the WPEZ dashboard, as I have already done here. Once you are logged in, then you can come back to your news page refresh it and you will have the page builder option at the top. Go ahead and click that. And we will dismiss the window here on the right by clicking the X. The first thing that we are going to do on this page is remove the text here which says we recommend adding an email newsletter subscription form here. So to do that we click on the text we come down and we put our cursor in and then we hit the backspace to delete it. When it's done, we hit the save button. Next thing we are going to do is click the plus button, go to modules and select the subscribe form module. Then we will click on it and drag it right below the heading to subscribe. Next we have this pop-up form in which we enter the settings for our subscribe form. First we choose the service which is MailChimp so we scroll down and choose MailChimp. Alright the next thing that we need to do is enter an account name which is just for your own internal purposes so we're gonna call it OCC test. Next we need an API key and we need to go to MailChimp in order to get the API key as it says in this little help icon. So I have already logged into the MailChimp account that I have. It's a personal MailChimp account. And I go up and click on the icon in the top right to get my account and billing. And then next I go to extras and choose API keys. Now when you're first doing this, you won't have these API keys set up. Um, you will have none set up, so I'm going to follow the same instructions as you would and create a new key. The key name, you can call it anything you want. We're going to call it OCC test. And then we're going to click the generate key button. Then we can click the copy to clipboard button go back to our site and now we hit control and V in order to paste in our API key. Next we click uh, click the connect button and um, after that we need to choose our list. MailChimp allows you to have multiple lists or multiple groups of email addresses to send to but you have to have at least one set up once you have that one set up, 
you will choose the list you want to send to. In this case, I'm going to choose a personal list that I have in that account. And then looking down here, most of these settings you can leave as they are. But when it comes to the notification subject, this is the email that will be sent to a new subscriber. So we are going to give ourselves the subject, thanks for subscribing to ourchurch.com. And then you can personalize the body of that email as well. If you like, you can customize the button. I'm going to leave it as the subscribe box, subscribe button you see here. The last item that we'll look at is the CAPTCHA. You don't have to add a CAPTCHA, but it will help from having spammy subscribers. So we do recommend it. You can either add it now or you can omit it for the time being and then come back and you can always add it later if you want. So we are going to choose to show the CAPTCHA and in order to get the, we need a site key and a secret key from Google. So we click on the Google Admin Console link and this allows us to set up Google reCAPTCHA. So we, for our label, again this doesn't really matter, we're going to call it OCC test. We will use the version 3.0 and then we will add our domain name which for this test site is OCC custom site and then we click submit. Next we click to copy the site key then we come back and we hit control V to paste the site key and then we copy the secret key go back and paste that last thing that we should do is under the validate type we select invisible version 3 and what invisible version 3 does is it is actually as it implies it's invisible it's not visible to the user and the reCAPTCHA system looks for mouse movement and typing in order to determine that it's an actual person who's filling out the form and not a bot of some kind. So we are all done setting up our subscribe form. We click the save button. Last thing I would suggest doing is this is a really wide box and it's really it doesn't need to be this um, this big so we're going to just go ahead and narrow this so it'll look good both on desktop as well as mobile and then we click done we publish and now if I were to go away to my home page and come back to the news page you'll see my subscribe form is there and that will do it. That's how you add a subscribe form, a MailChimp subscribe form, to your WPEZ website. Thanks for watching.